are well and having a great day so far. I've had a pretty nice and relaxed morning. It is so incredibly foggy outside. There's just like this really thick layer of fog. So it really is just creating this wintry atmosphere. I feel like I'm more at north. It's actually not that cold outside, but the fog just looks like it could snow any second. So we're just using our imagination and, you know, just channeling this winter atmosphere. So it's been cozy to kind of see that out the window. So I really like that. We were going to go pop over to a coffee shop this morning, but we decided to move that to later in the day since Hopefully the fog will kind of burn off a little bit and then we can go out and do that. And what else do we have on the agenda today? I also want to try and make DIY ornaments. I've had this saved on Pinterest for a while, like a tutorial of how to do them. So I got all the supplies and I'm excited to try it. And I also want to make soup, a soup for the week. We have dinner plans tonight with Brandon's family to celebrate his birthday, which is later this week. So we don't need dinner tonight, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make it for lunch so we just have that ready to go and enjoy for the rest of the week. I also have a Fabletics haul that is so cute, maybe my favorite ever, so I'm really excited to share those pieces and outfit ideas. I would also love to wrap some gifts and get that done, but we'll see how the day goes. I also have quite a bit of work I need to do on the computer. I need to get a video finished, so we'll sit down. We'll probably just go ahead and try to get most of that done this morning. So that's the plan, but I'm excited to spend the day with you all. Okay, here's the soup I'm gonna make today. How heavenly and scrumptious does that look? It is a chipotle chicken and avocado rice soup. Yum. I'm only going to do a little bit of chicken because like I mentioned later this week is Brandon's birthday. So I'm going to make one of his favorite recipes, a chicken chimichurri sweet potato bowl. It's one of our favorite things. I often make it vegetarian, but I'm going to add the chicken for his birthday, special birthday treat. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to make a little adjustments, but I think it'll be really yummy. I've never made it before. Also, my avocados are nowhere near ripe yet. So unfortunately, it won't be much of an avocado soup today, but I think it'll be really delicious nevertheless. So let's get cooking. Review. It was good, but not great in my opinion. Brandon said he really liked it, but I didn't think it was that tasty, honestly. I didn't love the flavor combination, which usually I love like any version of tortilla or Mexican soup. So I don't know, something was off. Honestly, maybe it was the chicken. I just, it didn't feel as healthful and nutrient dense as the soups I have been making, the veggie soups. So maybe I was just kind of craving more veggies and maybe when I add the avocado, it'll kind of balance everything out more. So that's my full soup review in case you were wondering. Now I want to share the Fabletics haul with you all and I'm so thankful to be partnering with them for this portion of today's video. I adore Fabletics. I wear their pieces all the time to work out in, to lounge in, to work from home in. And this month of Fabletics pieces may just be my favorite ever. They came out with this new Velour line and it is just so luxe 
box and perfect for the holiday season. So I'm really excited to share these pieces with you. So of course, let's start out with what I've been wearing all morning. I have the long sleeve tee, which is just so super buttery soft. And I just could wear this every single day. It's that comfortable. And then I also have the ultra high-waisted leggings. And these are great because you can wear them as is and they're super comfortable super cute but i also feel like they're going to be great for layering with thicker pants so you can kind of wear them underneath for some extra warmth so when we go skiing i'll definitely pack these and then layer them with some ski pants and i think that will just be great and then i also have these tapered lounge pants where the, which are the same exact material and fabric of the tee and these are just so comfortable again i'm gonna sound like a broken record but these are amazing and just pair really nicely with the tee for just a simple relaxed comfy look okay now on to the velour line that i mentioned we have these gorgeous bright lilac joggers and these are so fun i have the joggers in a few different colors because i'm just so in love and again i just think these are so fun for a little pop in your loungewear and the fabric is just so fun and i love the shine it has and then i have the twist velour sports bra in this light honey color this is my favorite color from the line it is just absolutely gorgeous and so warm yet wintry looking it's just so beautiful and then i have the joggers to pair with that and then this bodysuit is so fun i love this because i feel like you could really dress it down wear it with some joggers and you know go for a walk or you could dress it up i mean it's just absolutely gorgeous and the back is also a nice little touch and this puffer oh my goodness i have just been in love with my puffers lately i have two of the fabletics cropped puffers as well and i love to wear those for errands or just for a walk but then this one is such a statement it's so cute because you can just wear it with some of your other velour pieces or you could just add it for a pop of color and it is just absolutely gorgeous so really excited about these pieces and if you thought i was finished with the velour line Think again because I also ordered the sports bra along with the joggers in the deep navy color and then we also have this zip up as well and I just love how these pieces look paired all together but what's great is you can kind of mix and match and play around with it and add these different pieces to just more simpler materials and outfits as well to really spice it up and add a little flair so we love it and now's the perfect time to sign up and become a fabletics vip because you can get two bottoms for 24 dollars and 80 percent off all items after that when you join vip now through december 12th and just so you know you can save up to 50 percent every single day when you are a fabletics vip so there's lots of great deals and of course lots of beautiful collections so i'm actually going to change into this outfit and spend the rest of the day in it because it's just so cute and comfy but i hope you enjoyed this little haul ready to tackle this DIY. We'll try our hand at it. This DIY is by Kelsey Bing. I found her account and this craft on Pinterest and she wrote an amazing blog post with all the ingredients and directions. So I have everything in front of me pretty much. So what we're going to use is flour, salt, and we'll also need warm water and that's to make the dough. And then we'll also need to bake it and have a rolling pin, have a baking sheet, parchment paper. And that's what we need to cook the ornament. And then to decorate, we have a bunch of cookie cutters and all these cute little shapes. And then also some paint, paint brushes and Mod Podge, which I think is for the end to just kind of seal everything in. So I'm excited and she mentioned on her blog post that these are of course fun ornaments to hang on your tree but you could also use them as gifts which I love 
or gift tags or just a little extra goodie to attach to the gift bag or gift box. So I think that's such a fun idea. So I'm gonna try to make a lot of these mini ones. Well, these cookie cutters are the only one I have. So, you know, they're gonna be mini regardless. I definitely wanna do a Palmer paw print ornament as well. I saw my friend Michelle just did one with her dog and I just think that's the cutest thing. And this is his first Christmas with us. So we'll have a special ornament, hopefully, if it turns out okay, with Palmer's paw print. So excited, I'm gonna read through these directions and I'll take you guys along for the journey. I have my dough all rolled out ready to make my designs and making the dough is really simple and if you don't have a stand mixer you can just mix it by hand so no worries on that you just mix your flour your salt and your water your warm water or hot water I should say and now I get to make my designs so I'm gonna take my cookie cutters and just do as many as I can and then with the excess dough I will roll it out once again and I also am gonna get Palmer to do his little paw print straw to poke little holes at the top so that we'll be able to hang them. Just for good measure. Just for good measure. I know it's not the comfiest. Okay, ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. He wants to eat it. Good boy. That's my baby. You did your first ornament for your first Christmas. How stinking cute are those paws? Adorable. So I'm just going to try to kind of cut around them. It would have been easier to take a cup and just make a circle with like the rim of a cup, but didn't think of that until now. So I'm just cutting around it. Also, there's some of his hairs in this paw print, which honestly is kind of cute. Okay, well, I don't know why I haven't learned my lesson to read the directions all the way through before I start making something or cooking something, but I do this every time. But basically, I just read that it goes in the oven for two hours. Didn't realize that. It's already 4.30 and we have dinner tonight, like in about an hour. So I don't like leaving the oven on while we're gone. And of course, I don't want to leave them in the oven. So I think I'm just going to cook them for an hour right now and then turn the oven off go to dinner, and then we'll cook them for an hour once we come home. So this is a process, but I would say like so far it's fairly easy and definitely super fun. So hopefully they'll turn out okay because I could see this being a really fun tradition and you can kind of make different ones each year, especially if you have kids do their handprint. So cute.
got home from a little family sunset bike ride. It was really nice. And I just changed to the sweater, my jeans, and then my Birkenstocks. These are not the stretchiest jeans, so that was a little tricky. Um, and now we're headed off to Brandon's birthday dinner at his mom's house. So that'll be really sweet and we'll just enjoy family time. My ornaments are still in the oven. They're looking good, but I did use coarse kosher salt and you definitely can see like the bumpiness of it because the salt is a lot thicker than regular salt or chunkier I should say or grainier that's a better word so you can definitely see that so if you recreate this definitely just use regular more fine grain salt but hey I think it'll still be cute and I'll continue baking it tonight but we'll paint them in the morning so I'll check back in with you guys then my coffee all bundled up in my puffer and blanket about to paint some ornaments this really is such a peaceful way to start the day hopefully haven't started yet but I'm gonna make it a calm and just beautiful experience and I'm excited but last night was really fun celebrating Brandon with the family and we got a good night's sleep and we're ready to go I have a big editing day today but I also am going to squeeze in some time for fun and I hope you guys are doing okay with winter time. I know it can be kind of difficult sometimes because it's so cold, not so much here in Florida, but it can be cold and darker and the winter blues can strike you. So I hope you guys are finding joy. I love the huga term, the Danish term where they just focus on all things cozy and just cultivating and kind of romanticizing the winter months so that they're more beautiful and kind of just cling to those joys that come with the winter months so that's what we're doing and I know I'm very spoiled in Florida because it is foggy again today so it feels very wintry but it's not that cold and it's not that dark because we still get quite a bit of sunshine but I hope you guys are able to just make the most of it and this is such a fun DIY let me show you a close-up of our ornaments they really do look like cookies. It's so, so cute. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Here's the Palmer paw prints. These are not as defined, honestly. They don't look that great, but hopefully when I paint them, they'll be more defined. But I think the little mini ones are so cute and we have quite a bit of them. So I think I'll probably just paint some of them one color. Uh-oh, these are stuck together. These are buddies. Oh, there we go. So I think I'll just paint some of them just like this pretty white color, but we're gonna have fun with it. You know it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Then you know it's Christmas because Santa's on his way. We'll stand under the mistletoe And then it's Christmas Day The joyful times we witness Forever stays with us Soon Rudolph fears his wisdom And gathers all his friends When Santa and his missus Wraps the final gift You know it's time for Christmas For each and every
ornaments has been so incredibly relaxing and peaceful we're almost done with them I'm just letting them dry right now and then we'll add Mod Podge to kind of just seal it in but I need to get some computer work done and finish editing some stuff and just kind of get ahead on some computer things because we're actually going on a little Christmas weekend trip and I'll definitely take you guys along and show you our adventures but kind of just trying to get all the computer work and submit everything before my deadlines and all that good stuff so that's gonna be the rest of the day but I'm glad we got to squeeze in that little Christmassy activity and DIY because it really is so fun and I highly recommend that craft idea so now I'm gonna wrap Brandon's gifts I already wrapped a couple of his gifts that are just books which I'm forgetting the name of them on the top of my head but they're just ones that he found and requested and then I ordered him this other book as well it's called live no lies by John Mark Comer we absolutely love John Mark Comer he's a pastor in Portland and he has two other books that we've read Garden City and the Ruthless Elimination of Hurry and loved them I would definitely describe those books as life-changing for the better and then I also picked up this t-shirt for him which I showed in a vlog that's coming up in a couple days I think but it's just this simple t-shirt from Target but I wanted to get him something other than books because all of his other gifts are books so I'm gonna wrap these real quick I also need to write him a card but we'll do that later So stinking cute. The Mod Podge added a nice little glossiness to them, so I love them. And now I just need to add some string to the top. I also have a lot more to decorate, but I gotta just get my computer work done before I can pay any more. But like I said, I really could do this all day. I think Palmer's paw print turned out really cute, actually. It's a little faint, a little hard to see, but I also wrote his name on the back and did 2021 so cute looks like a little preschool ornament i love it i am going to sign off hunker down and get my computer work done but thank you guys so much for spending time with me i really hope you enjoyed today's vlog and i cannot wait to see you next bye